Thank you, Kim. I'm back on Thursday into Friday with a food and wine premiere, so keep I'm Michelle Yarn, and you have found yourself in the middle of a night full of HSN's best. All the hottest deals are here in one place just for you. And this holiday season, don't worry about how you're going to make that holiday feast. From appliances to kitchen tools, HSN is here to take the guesswork out of cooking. And if you've got an amateur chef in your life or a foodie, we have great gifts in our holiday gift store. We have gifts for her, him, the kids, pets, and more. Search gifts on hsn.com now. There's absolutely no need to recharge it. It's like a single touch, quick, simple, easy to use, and an opportunity for anyone today to be able to take advantage of it at $24.95. So we brought it on a phenomenal holiday price for everyone. And in terms of the gifts, we have like four great little colors. We'll show you the colors we have available. We have it in blue, we have it in red, we have it in black, and we have it available in the gray. And free shipping and handling on this one in the five flex pay. I tell you, the values that we've had for host pick, extraordinary. So this is, you know, if you've ever been out there and you've ever struggled with a regular opener, yes. forget it. Forget about it. Grab me that regular opener. Yeah. Is this you? Oh, Are we this? still living here? Is this where we're living? Or this thing. I see both. Bartenders still using these, and I'm thinking, what are you doing? I know, or this or one. That one. You gotta get rid of these. Yeah, they you end up hurt. drinking more cork than yeah, wine. You drink the cork. This hurts your wrist, and I don't even have trouble with my wrist. Imagine those that have arthritis or any yes, kind of dexterity exactly. issue. Those are not fun. Go ahead and grab this in a couple colors. It's the best deal I've ever seen. It takes AA batteries, which come included and installed. Yeah, you don't <laughs> have to worry about charging it, or, or I've had that happen. It's like, what do you do when it dies? Yeah, yeah. no, four AA batteries. You don't have to plug it in. No, I mean, no must. No fuss. Look what it does, though. How easily it lifts up that cork and it doesn't destroy the cork. To me, that's really special because what if it's a wedding or an anniversary you're celebrating and you want to keep the cork? I've seen that a lot, you know, and you, you want to go ahead and keep it or write a little date on it. It will deliver the cork right back to you undamaged and guess what? You're not drinking it. So there's no cork remaining in my wine. If you open a beautiful bottle of wine to share with your friends and family and there's little cork bits in it, yeah. I mean, nothing kills an evening like, pe you know, peeling out cork oh, bits. Oh, I know it exactly. Your exactly. bottle of wine. It will open any bottle of wine, mm -hmm. synthetic or real cork. Mm -hmm. Just don't try it on a screw top. Right. That's and not going to work. Cutter, everyone knows that the foil cutter is nested cutters, right at the bottom of it. Look also. at that. So that's actually its little seat, Stand. its little foot. It stands mm -hmm. right up in there. This is a soft grip touch. It's a really nice touch. So Barcraft, you know, makes all these really wonderful uh, gadgets for your bar. They really deck out your bar. Uh, so anything that you need, all you do is place it on top. Do you see that blue LED light up? Uh, so if it's a low light area. Oh, there's that blue LED. Perfect. If this is like a low light area and you have maybe some trouble seeing, like my bar does not have a light on the top of it, you'll be able to see it. Or if it's like a romantic evening or something like that. And then all you do is reverse it and you grab your cork. I save all my corks. I put them in a clear glass jar. It's a beautiful little display. Whatever you want to do, but it's not going to stick it in there. And all I've done is touch a button. So mm -hmm. I'm not digging or, you know, I've seen people holding oh, the that, wine bottle that. between their knees and doing that's this. Like the and it's worst, like, isn't it? Yeah. It's not and necessary you, anymore. They are. It is. It's perfection because the cork comes out perfectly every that. single solitary time. That's the difference with it. And you do nothing. All you do is push the button yep. because it's automatic. It automatically takes the cork out. It automatically push, pushes the cork back yep. down. So it's perfect every time. And I love the little illumination of a great and little blue that. light so it yeah. illuminates as go. well. You can see that. Perfect. Yes. And I love the colors. Mm. This is the first time we've done like the red and the blue. Mm, so they're great for men pretty. or women. Um, uh, what about a gift? Instead of coming oh to gosh. somebody's home, like a Christmas party or mm -hmm. a holiday party or a birthday party, mm -hmm. and instead of bringing one of these, which is gone by the time the evening's over exactly. usually. And plus the fact that, first of all, you're afraid to go because you're like, oh, they're going to think know. that's a cheap bottle of wine sure. or something, right? Or they, maybe it's not their taste in wine, <laughs> exactly. you know? Everybody loves or a both. good... Or both. Yeah, either one. This is going to become that perfect gift. So like I say, stock up, because if you look at electric wine openers, first of all, they're big, cumbersome, and clunky. Yep. They plug yep. in, yep. so they're kind exactly. of a pain in the neck that way but they're 30 40 i've seen them 50 60 dollars so this is a great deal because you're also getting four AA batteries which come included and this one does that beautiful reverse 
So you just reach in, mm -hmm. grab that cork, and it's not even damaged hardly. So if that mm -hmm. was a very expensive, say it's a $50 or excuse me, 50 year old bottle of wine and you want to preserve that, it's right. not damaged. And the, 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 the worm inside is also nonstick, which also I think makes a big difference yep. in how it's grasping yes. the cork and then also re releasing the cork as well. So we have about three minutes for everyone. And here again, all you have to do is pick red, blue, the gray, or the black. I mean, that is how simple and easy it is. And the fact that it is such a fabulous gift idea. And by the way, this also comes with a manufacturer's limited lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty. Lifetime That's warranty. unheard of with mm -hmm. any kind of a gadget, isn't right. it? Definitely. I mean, that is how high quality the bar craft experience is in terms of your home bar. I mean, right. anywhere you put this, I have a little bar at my house, but maybe you just have a little area where you keep your wine. It's going to look sleek. It's going to look classy. It's going to look sophisticated. It doesn't look cheap. It yeah. doesn't, you know, you're not going to have to, you know, ask people how to figure out how to use it. You know, right. it's press a button down, right. press a button up to reverse the cork. And then this is a foil cutter that actually cuts foil. I know. Have you ever struggled with a foil cutter and you're, and then you're left to get a knife or I you're have. doing one of these? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, have you ever done mm -hmm. one of those? I've done one of those. Yeah, right. Exactly. You're trying to knife on the side yeah, and yeah, cutting yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. This no, it's a great cuts foil cutter. every single time and it's the little foot so you don't lose it, right? And then couple hundred, you know, bottles of wine later, depending on how often you use it, you just replace the four AA batteries. You don't have to worry about plugging That's in it. and charging it. Because I've had that happen to you. Like, you go to use it, and it's like, great, it's dead. There's no battery on it. Yep. So quick, simple, all you have to do is touch A the button. button. That, it's, and again, and the, the wine opener does all the work for you. And I will tell you, every year, this has been one of our most popular gifts that we have ever offered. Great it's stocking a, stuffer. It's a great stocking stuffer. Perfect size. Affordable. The fact that we have free mm -hmm. shipping that we have it on five flex pay payments for everyone and if you know someone who enjoys wine when you go out to buy a lot of these these are really expensive oh, on the retail so. market and they're and a lot cheaper of, they're a lot well, i was cheaper. gonna say yeah, they're cheaper they're made. The they don't have the non-stick uh, mm -hmm. worm inside which is so important a lot of them don't even have the integral foil cutter and if you do have problems like with finger dexterity this is so great yeah it really is great because you know your alternative is the manual wine yeah. openers where you got to have like the strength of superman to get right. into the bottle of wine or you've got right. to ask somebody to get into a bottle of wine I mean I know when I want a bottle of wine I don't want to have to be struggling with trying to get you know when I want a glass of wine yeah. <laughs> Freudian slip yeah. uh, when I would like a glass of wine I don't want to be trying now to the truth comes out <laughs> when it's I want okay. to drink my bottle of wine yeah. <laughs> no. but you know it's great for right men it's great you. for women it's awesome color schemes I love that all of these colors could go male or female gray. yeah I love the gray yeah. stainless kitchen too. Uh -huh. that'd be beautiful and it's like a soft touch I don't even know how to describe yeah. It's like a softer Very touch so soft. that it's not going to sort of slip out of your hand mm -hmm. or do anything weird. Mm -hmm. It's not a, you know, a slick, slippery feel. It's that sort of soft touch grip and that really high quality, high class look, that high class feel. Yeah, and I like having the clear window also. Oh, yeah, so that's fun. You can actually fun. see, you, you know, see where the cork is going. See the whole clear window down at the base. Over 600 gone, and I know we have hundreds of people that are joining us. Just a matter of seconds remaining. But again, look at how quick, I mean, simple, and easy I've this is I've opened a dozen bottles of wine. And, you know, I know and water it. bottles of wine in 10 minutes. So all party you do time. is pop it down. Yeah, part of time. Is, yeah. is that why there's now all of a sudden 20 now people in the studio? people are lining up. Forget the food. We're here for the wine. This, of course, is Ferris, and Ferris is just the best little snacks. You know, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, when you're about to reach for maybe something kind of bad for you, you can reach for this. And tonight, we're launching a brand-new trio collection that we've never done before. In fact, there's two new flavors that we literally we're doing for this time and tonight only. It will not be back for the holiday season. You're getting one complete set of the Merry Mitt Mix. You're getting one set of the Winter Spice Mix, and then what's sold out in September is back and that is our pumpkin spice mix all three in a great gift package box brand new and a brand new giftable design label for our specific mixes tonight and they were done just for me and for host pick and for you and I got to get Carrie out here to tell you all about it <laughs> hey. this is kind of an act of love from the gang at Ferris yes it was it was very custom made we love you and so you know for host pick we wanted to do something special and because it's holiday host pick we want to make sure you had something that was 
giftable. So this is actually, these three containers are going to come inside the box. So you can split them up if you want to, or you can go ahead and leave them inside, place a bow on top, and it's bow and go. So let's talk about these mixes because that's what's so exciting. We are launching two brand new mixes for you. First is our Merry Mint. And to make things easy, because there's so many ingredients now in what we're doing, I want, I'm just gonna point to them and we're gonna go across. So starting right here is our white chocolate nonpareil, our dark chocolate nonpareil, but please notice it's not just chocolate, both of them have peppermint inside of them as well. So this is for our mint mix. Then we have our chocolate covered peanut, we have our pretzel ball, oh. our peanut in there as well, and then I'm just trying to make sure, for, and then our almonds, and then our pecans. Oh my gosh. So all of this makes our mint mix, oh okay? So Mary Mint. You know I'm trying one of these. Please do. Okay, so <laughs> nothing to me screams more oh holiday gosh. than chocolate and peppermint. That so if so you like, because of the um, the pretzel balls, if have you ever had like a chocolate covered pretzel? Oh yeah. It has like the, you it's know, the chocolate and, and the peppermint and all that. That's what Mary Mint's gonna be like. Oh my gosh, like. that's okay. delicious. So now I'm gonna move on to winter spice. And winter spice is gonna start off with something we've also never done before. And that's our crystallized ginger pieces. Mm, mm -mm. So when you look at these, it's gonna give you like a spice on it. So it's gonna give it like a nice warming sensation as I almost dropped them, sorry about that. Um, and then we're gonna do our dried cranberry is going to be in there our cashews which are right here you know our cashews these are these ginormous ones from india and brazil we're going to do our pecans from texas those nice whole pecans almonds white chocolate chips and here is the specialty factor this is our orange peel okay oh, so it's oh going to be actually like finished off with orange peel unbelievable flavor this really kind of is that takes it to the next notch like so we, that's the spice is coming from the crystallized ginger and then that orange peel gives it that citrus flair unbelievable and then the one that you may have seen in september that we wanted to bring back because of course it's holiday is pumpkin spice and so pumpkin spice is going to have uh it's well first i want to start off with these Mm -mm -mm. or spice pecans. These have five ingredients in them, five different spices. Nutmeg, clove, ginger, cinnamon, and allspice. And that's all over our beautiful yummy pecans. Mm. Unbelievable when you crunch into those. We're gonna add our apricots in there, our nice, they're so soft by the way, and I, we've up until this mix we had never done apricots either. Um, we're doing our dried cranberries, we're doing our cashews, and then we're doing our almonds. I mean, this is like, these are so wow. chock full. And what sets it off is the pumpkin seeds. And it gives it that beautiful color. So you're getting all of these. Isn't that awesome? All of these <laughs> ingredients are each coming in each container. So you're getting three containers in a box complete. So this is bow and go, you guys. If you're watching right now and you're like, oh my gosh, I've got, you know, Christmas is not too far away and you want to knock out a lot of great gifts, this is the moment to do it because it's so delicious. They're freshly made. And what's really exciting is this isn't going to be available ever again. It took them so long to curate because they do the other ones we do all the time. I mean, mm -hmm. day in and day out mm -hmm. online, we're selling tons of Ferris. But this one was so curated specifically for host pick. And I want to thank the Ferris company for doing <laughs> that. That really is sweet. And I was so excited about it because this is a first. Also note, this makes three different gifts. So maybe it's yeah. your teacher, maybe it's the principal, the guidance counselor, maybe it's your hairdresser, the gal next door who goes and gets your mail when you're mm -hmm. away. I mean, think about getting multiple sets of these because you get all three separate or obviously you can get them together as a gift. It's just phenomenal. By the way, the price is phenomenal. The brand new configuration. It's the first time we're launching two of the mixes. This is exclusive to this show tonight, to my show and to you tonight. And we have five flex pays and free shipping on this as well. And also remember, all the five flex pays goes away at midnight too. But mm -hmm. let's talk about the freshness of the ingredients. Absolutely. Well, everything, when we source our ingredients, we source them from the top places. Ferris has been in business since 1924, and we are a family-owned business, and what's so important about that is quality matters. And so when we get our, you know, our pecans, we're not giving you little chopped up pieces of pecans. We're giving you pecans from Texas that we actually keep them as whole as possible for you. We're giving you those cashews from India and Brazil that are just so unbelievably creamy and delicious that when you bite into them, you go, this is like eating a little cashew steak. 
<laughs> um, and so we love doing that for you. And it goes down the line. You know, our almonds are from California. This is the Mary Mint mix that's in my hand right now. So what I was talking to you, if you are the lover because of the pretzel balls that are in there that give that salt take, then you're going to have the chocolate with the peppermint. Mm. This is your sweet and salty mix. This is the holidays all over it. If you love a pretzel rod covered in chocolate with peppermint, you are going to go cuckoo crazy over this one. Um, and so that's why I have that one in my hand and then I'll, I'll make up the next one. Um, Again, because we take our a lot of pride in putting together the best mixes for you, we take our time. And these were all handcrafted for this show and Just for you. Just the show. So we actually took the time to make sure that all the flavors blended properly. We wanted to make sure that you were getting from each mix something different. Yep. And we wanted to make sure that um, we were kind of going in a different direction, you know, because we've been here now. It's been a while since 2010. And, you know, with so many of you loving cherry berry, we wanted to give you an opportunity to now see what handcrafted Ferris is like. Right. And that's what this is. Small batches, making sure that we're giving you quality and all the way gourmet. Right. And just the freshest that you can get. You know, how often you've gone in, you went, went and got a little trail mix in, you know, the little Jiffy Mart near your house. <laughs> and you're like, okay, well, I think it's kind of healthy. And all this is leftover little teeny pieces of stuff. You're not even sure. Look at full-size walnuts, full-size cashews, beautiful Beautiful, beautiful cherries. I love that little pumpkin spice. I think that's so cool they put in there. And all of this just meant to really satisfy your taste buds. When yeah. you eat any of the Ferris items, it's so satisfying. They taste good. You just, it takes care of a lot of those yearnings we have, especially in the weakest part of the day when you're about to go to that machine and buy that candy bar and you're like, there's gotta be a better alternative. You have it here. And I'll tell you, the flavors are like technicolor. They're yeah. so punchy and delicious. And again, it's that mixture of the textures and the taste that really make this, quite frankly, soul satisfying. They're just really good to eat. And what exciting thing to have. If you love your Ferris, I promise you, you're totally gonna fall in love with these three sets. This trio is unbelievable. Every time we had a taste test, because it took time for us to make sure that we were getting the mixes just right. You know, So then we'd say, oh, take that out, put that in. And so this was really a process of just making sure they blended perfectly perfect. And every time I got to taste them, I'd be like, wait, I think this is even better than the last time. Wait, <laughs> this is even better than the last time. And you know, we really settled on these ones because we felt like they represented the holidays perfectly. So what's in my hand right now is pumpkin spice. Again, that's going to have your pumpkin spice pecans. These pecans have five different spices on them. Clove, ginger, nutmeg. I mean, this is the, please do. I'm These one. are <laughs> the holidays in one bite, okay? And that's what's going to give oh it that Oh my pump, lord. Right? That is so good. Unbelievable. You could just do a package of those and I'd be all in. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, wow. so, quick story for you. So, my high school dance teacher ordered the pumpkin spice with the with the apple last time we went in September we did it and I went and visited her actually like two weeks ago. I said, well, what did you think? And she goes, oh, that mix? That was so good. It's gone. <laughs> Carrie, it's gone. So it was like, you know, her and her husband, she's like, I'm not sure if my husband's going to like it because he doesn't really like a lot of things on, on the nuts because she noticed that they were spiced and different things. And I said, please try these. Right. Because a lot of times, you know, you will find things that are, they just don't taste, um, what's the right word? Like they're not authentic. They taste very fake. True. Okay. Yep. And they're using fake spices. They're using fake ingredients, um, you know, artificial things. Not with Ferris. There is nothing artificial here. You're getting this spiced Pecan, all the real spices are in there. There's nothing oh. artificial. It's not like when you get pumpkin spice and you go, ooh, that tastes fake. Right. You know, and it's overly sweet. These are all perfect where they're going to give you the sweet and salty, where they're going to give you that candy ginger and the crystallized ginger. It's going to give you the little spice. Beautiful. Everything's just perfect. And again, we, you can use them with the, your other cooking. We've got cookies down here. We have cookies over there. We've we got yeah. muffins right here. You can sprinkle them on yogurt if you want to. It's you can use these in a lot of different ways. It's just not exclusive to uh, just eating them out of the out of the jar. But you will. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. Hey, 
I'm Michelle Yarn, and you are enjoying a night full of great deals and new products all in one place right here at HSN. Tonight, eat, drink, and be merry with kitchen and food gifts everyone on your list will love. Now, if you can't decide what to get them this year, how about an HSN gift card? Give the gift of choice and shop gift cards anytime. Just search gift cards on hsn.com. It's the Rotato Express. <laughs> it, uh, it peels just about every fruit and vegetable you would ever want to peel, but without having to deal with those, uh, you know, old-fashioned potato peelers. Right, but you know, <laughs> where were you when my poor grandmother with her arthritis would peel potato after potato right. after potato for Thanksgiving, for the scalloped potatoes? I mean, yes, we call it the Rotato, yeah. <laughs> but like you said, John, you're going to do a lot more than just oh, potatoes yeah. with this. Yeah. And it's not just a peeler, okay? You'll yeah. notice it makes these long ribbons like this, okay? So for hash brown potatoes, it'll be amazing for hash brown potatoes. Yeah. In fact, let me just reach over here. I'll put this right out oh, that's front. Pretty. You can kind of show you some of the things that you can do with the peels and uh, not only the peels, yeah. but also with the potato itself. When you have it ribboned like this, yeah. and again, all you do, it, it automatically shuts off. You turn it on. All you do is, uh, here, here's how simple this is. I'm going to take this potato out, okay? okay. I'm going to start with a brand new one just to show you. All you do is take your potato, place it on the bottom prongs just like this. Okay, right. this sets right on your countertop or tabletop. You press the arm down on top, okay. raise up the cutting arm, and you push this little red button. Right. And that's all it takes, and just look at it go. I mean, it perfectly peels your potatoes. At each and every time without even having to touch it. Oh, the nice. kids can peel their own fruits oh, and vegetables yes, now. So <laughs> and love you don't that. have to worry about ever cutting yourself. You don't have to worry about, you know, a, a, a dropping the peeler down the garbage disposal. Right. Everything happens right there on your countertop or tabletop. And look at this. Okay. One continuous peel. Okay. Again, it's perfect for hash browns, but I'm gonna take this peel just to show you this, okay? <laughs> to show you oh, oh it broke. Oh well. Here, watch this. Look at this. This is that one. Do you want my peel. help? Okay. okay. Yeah, you might. We want, we can jump rope with right. with that piece, <laughs> and then we, look. This is. <laughs> bye. Going and you home. Curl bye. That up on a plate, put it in the frying pan, right That's in the butter. That's crazy. In the, hey, Daryl. Uh, Daryl is the man with the plan tonight. I, I don't know if we have something that could just uh, showcase the flex pay does expire today. I should point out. So this is the grand finale for all of our Columbus Day weekend. You know, big holiday event. Of course, it does qualify for extended holiday return policy. We have not seen this on the air in quite some time. And and obviously it makes sense with the holidays right around the corner, but no kidding, it, we know fresh is best. And there's usually a lot of waste when you're using right. that fresh produce. Not only that though, it's pretty and it's fun. Yes, it's a blast. Yeah. And here, here's another thing you can do with this too, okay? Okay. Take your potato, instead of just putting it in whole, here's a little tip, okay? I'm gonna, here, let me move this over to the side right. so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take a knife and I'm just gonna score the potato about four times as I go around here. I can oh. do, or, or five times, all it doesn't right. matter. But all you do is go around like this score it first okay yeah. to the center just with the tip of a knife and now watch what happens because for hash browns in the morning yeah. this is perfect for hash browns because now I'm getting instead of getting one long continuous peel look at this you're making oh. hash browns I was wondering right. why you were doing that I'm <laughs> like what is that gonna do oh, and, that's and cool. you don't even have to do anything instead no. of busting your nails and knuckles on one of those uh, four-sided yeah. tin can graters but you know where you're gonna love this too is if you're into zucchini pastas now I got to show you real quick Underneath here, there's a place for four AA batteries, or you can hook it right up to your, uh, right up to a power. It's got a power cord that comes with it, okay. and it's got extra uh, blades inside, extra peelers. Gotcha. Okay, that piece right there is replaceable. You can, there's two extra ones down inside here, and watch this now. Just for your zucchini pastas. Hey, zucchini pasta is one of the one of the most uh, more popular things these sure. days Healthy. because it's carb free. Right. It's, it's ca basically calorie free. Right. I mean, and. and and we look at this, you can make mounds and mounds oh, of zucchini pasta, me? zucchini spaghetti, right. in, that, in a matter of seconds or minutes, really, with this machine. You know what's so nuts? <laughs> I have tried to do that by hand with a vegetable peeler. Oh, and, yeah. And while, yes, technically it works, it's never precise, it's never right. perfect. So, and using those spiralized.
fertilizers yeah. and stuff, you know. It's usually Here, a lot again, of work, All basically. you do is raise it up to the top, you push the button, yep. and it just goes and goes and goes yeah. and goes. Well, and the best part <laughs> is you're not even babysitting it. I mean, right. notice John isn't even touching it. Hey, just real quickly, all you have to do is choose your color of choice. So we've got my red, you know, I love red. There's our black, and then uh, I think, Daryl, are we calling that green? Oh, we are calling it green in the system. We ain't got too fancy. Okay. Sometimes yeah. we come up with fancy <laughs> names. Oh, you're even doing an we apple. we got this zucchini going over here. You yeah. want to peel an apple? Have the kids grab an apple, put it in the Rotato Express. Now the kids can peel their own apples without, hey, hey mom, dad, can you peel an apple for me? No. Now you can do it yourself. Yeah. It sits right on your, on your countertop. It fits in a drawer or in a cabinet. But again, look at this. One continuous apple. Look at this. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, if you're into baking, oh, you'll for love this sure. for garnishing. Okay, that apple peel. <laughs> Again, it's a one continuous piece, and all you do is raise that arm up yeah. to the top, you press down on that one red button right there, oh, and the rotator just goes to town. It peeling does. and peeling and peeling. But you know, I talked to my mom, it's apple season in Minnesota, which oh, I'm yeah. so bummed I missed this year. And in New York. Yeah, and, and New yeah, York, exactly. I mean, but that's half the reason that we don't make the homemade apple pie or the apple tart right. or the apple dumplings, because, you know, who wants to sit and, you know, peel by hand well, all the apples? And if you're into baking, try this, okay? How about lemon? rind or orange rind. Oh, for sure. How about for garnishing? For, you take that rind and you wrap that up on the top of a cake or yeah. a pie as a garnish. A martini. And, or, or a martini. <laughs> <laughs> if you're into the infused Just waters. saying. I mean, look at, just smell that. You can smell yeah, that you can. fresh. Orange right here. I know. I mean, it's oh, amazing when it's fresh like that. And you know what's so funny? Like I love oranges, but part of the reason I don't eat them is because I, I, I love the smell once they're peeled, but I don't like the smell of the peel on my hand right. and underneath my fingernails for hours and hours on end. So this is a perfect solution. And the other thing about this is, especially with like a lemon, yes. John, because of the pith is very, very bitter. Yes. I mean, that you don't want that in anything. That's right. You, you never just have to, want that You rind. just yes. want that rind. That outer layer of yeah. the skin, and so that's, that's what it's doing. It's giving you that perfectly each and every time. It really is. Of course, it's made for potatoes. And again, I'll, I'll just put a potato in here because it doesn't matter the shape of the potato either. Can you see how this arm is spring-loaded? Okay. Yep. As it goes around, okay, it actually moves in and out to it compensate does. for whatever shape the vegetable or fruit is yeah. that you're peeling. So you don't miss anything. But, oh, but you're you can, right. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's so funny so when you say that. So even those little that. divots and dents and everything yeah. else, it gets in between there. Instead of using those peelers where uh, you have to sit there with the, in the palm of your hand yeah. and they do all that stuff. And, you know, it, it'll peel, again, just about anything. We just peeled this potato. Here, I've got a carrot over here, but let's pull this, or the, not carrot. Here, let me pull that apple out. I'll put a mango say, that's, in that's here. That's quite because, a carrot. <gasps> yeah. We'll put a mango in here because okay. you can peel just about anything that you would want with the Rotato yeah. Express. Razor sharp blade. Okay. All you do is push the button. Oh, wow. And even for these mangoes, for avocados, for... Uh, just about any fruit right. or vegetable, you, all you do is push the button. Yeah. And it does all the work for you. It, it really I mean, does. It's the perfect gift coming up for, with the, for the holidays. It it's is. the perfect gift for anybody that, that you know, that has a kitchen. Right. <laughs> I mean, and uh, I don't know if you've seen it reflected graphically or not, but remember that flex pay does expire at midnight. So the flex pay, this was saved for the show. Oh, thank you, guys. So the flex pay was <laughs> saved for, uh, for you and for this show because this is the only airing. Remember, uh, this is another one of those wild wow supplies, last only. Oh, I love cucumbers. Oh, but, yeah. you know, the thing is, for me, generally speaking, yes. cucumbers are an area where I always have a lot of waste, especially if you like to can. I used to can every oh, year yeah. in Minnesota. And the, the, the pickles would never be precise because uh -huh. by the time I got done, right. I was just, like, peeling what I could, and I was left, like, a, with a third because oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'm worn out. <laughs> you know? Look at this. But you get a perfect peel on your cucumber. Again, all you do is push the button. When it gets down to the bottom, it automatically shuts off. Right. I still have the zucchini going over here. We're still making hash browns over here. And I'll tell you, but it's so simple to use. All you do is pick your vegetable, fruit, meat, or cheese. And I'll tell you what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something different this time. Right. How about a, a red ripe tomato? Oh, no kidding. All right. It, you don't even have to blanch these. Place it on the rotato. Yeah. Run the arm down into the top. And look at this for even just.
just even for for peeling a red ripe tomato like this, you oh get boy, a if perfect it can peel, peel a ripe tomato. I, it can peel it's a razor sharp blade, right? And look at the work that does. Oh, that's crazy! What in the world? You wouldn't. I mean, you would have a hard time doing that with a hand peeler. It, you absolutely would. But now would. with the Rotato Express, it right. does all the work for you. It, it really does. But remember, this is for basically for the show. <laughs> now the Flex Pay does expire There's at midnight. There's a whole dish of zucchini and, pasta. Oh, but you know what? It's so pretty. I mean, you know, yeah. we eat with our eyes. Yes. I mean, there's less waste, but even if you're, you know, slicing lemons to garnish a fish, yes. you know, you want it to look pretty, you want it to look precise. Oh, there's okay. an avocado. Okay, let me, let me place that back okay. in there. I'm going to stop that. So obviously that's a very yeah. hard it's, rind or this hard is, This skin. is actually a Florida avocado, which are harder than I can, normal well, I can ones. see that. Okay, yeah. and all you do is raise it up to the top, you push the button, yeah. and it does the work for you. It does. And you can see, again, that razor sharp look. That one's, that one's rotten yep. on the bottom, that's why. Okay. okay. <laughs> we can't help you with you that. You can't help with the vegetables. <laughs> exactly. We can't help you with that. But oh, here, man. how about a pear? We'll let all that right. shut off. You can see how that arm goes all the way down. It hits the button. Yeah. It automatically shuts off. Yeah. Here, we'll put a pear in here, one of these uh, red, delicious pears. Okay. All you do is press the button. Now oh, you're neat. peeling pears. Again, yeah. everything from tomatoes and potatoes and cucumbers. and I mean, you yeah. can peel onions with this, too. Sure. It does just about every fruit or vegetable you would ever want to do. But I'll tell you what. Uh, I love it just for the oranges and the lemon sure. rinds. Again, you place it on top, slide the arm down into the center. See these little, th here's a little tip for you too, okay. okay? Now you can take this in an RV or camper, boat, motor yeah. home, because it's, it is battery operated, yeah. so you can take this and use it in a tent if you like. Sure. Underneath there too, you'll notice here, I've got one over here, this little tab right here, yeah. this pulls out, and okay. what this does, this is a little, I, 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 sometimes I forget to show these features, this will take the eye out of your oh, potato yeah. okay before you peel it oh, so that handy. digs the eyes out nice. so now you can pull that out you okay. place it in the rotato and it does all the work Brilliant. for you Remember, and that stays right up underneath oh, just here hides right in there so you can either run it battery Good operated idea. or you can have it on the cord okay yeah. it comes with the cord okay and again these little four tabs down here this is what holds your vegetable in place okay so you take your vegetable or fruit place it down over those little prongs okay slide this down over the top you raise the arm up you push the button and away you go there you go. <laughs>In five minutes, the flex and the pricing will expire. So you've Yay. got four flex, pay a crazy discount. It is an eight pack of the Debbie Meyer Genius Sponge. It's like a new sponge every time you use it. You will be the only person in America to get the snowman version for the holiday season. Debbie, ah, it's so cute. Oh, thank you. I just love this. And it actually is done in response to your request because last year you were giving them away like crazy as stocking stuffers, taking them to people's houses. And who knew? A thousand five star uh, reviews uh, on a sponge. Yeah. You're getting eight of my sponges. You ate a little snowman. They are all the same. They all the same. They have the sponge front and the scrubber back. Let me tell you what's so special about my sponges. They're, they are made with natural ingredients that will inhibit the growth of molds and bacteria in and on the sponge and the scrubber for the life of the sponge. Do you know how long this sponge lasts? Each sponge lasts the equivalent of 15 ordinary, these horrible, whoops, oh, I let, let dropped it, my, horrible little um, I think it's alive. silver sponge. It <sighs> actually is. It replaces 15 of these. My sponge will never get hard. It will never smell. It will always stay soft and pliable. And like you said, you rinse it out, put it down, and tomorrow when you pick it up to use it, it's a brand new sponge. You but I want to show you the science. This was made by the independent laboratory that tested my sponges. That sponge you see right there is your sponge, that cellulose thing. That stuff you see there, it's not just in and on your sponge, it's growing, Ugh. it's multiplying, it's stinking. Bacteria is what smells. If you simply replace it with one of my sponges, here's the difference. See the little things going poof? They're disappearing. It's showing that my sponge will not support the growth of the molds and bacteria in and on the sponge. Therefore, it is cleaner, it doesn't smell, it stays soft. And when you get eight of my sponges, okay, I know you don't want to do the math, I'll do it for you. Here we go. You're going to get a package of eight? 
that means oh. you don't have to buy oh, 120 of these. 120 versus eight. That's how long mine are gonna last. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching right now, there are over 1,000 reviews. It is one of my all-time favorite products. The Freeman household is never without a Debbie Meyer Genius sponge. Not only is this the lowest price ever, you are getting a limited edition. Debbie did just for us of a snowman for the holiday yes. season. So if you want something really special, try it. Trust me, you will never buy any <laughs> other type of kitchen cleaning product for the dishes. And we'll show you how absorbent it is Watch as well. It. This will also hold 22 times its own weight in liquid and absorbs 40% more than an ordinary sponge. Okay, see the little mess I made down there? That blue water down there? There it is. Okay, watch this. I'm not even gonna do a damn thing. I'm just clap. Nope. Watch it. It's actually climbing you see it, you into see it. the sponge itself. There's actually a space between the sponge and the water. Yeah. Because it has absorbed Look. into this. It's dry. So that means when you have a mess in the kitchen, all you do is this. You know, there's no work. When I spill things, I use it in the bathroom because that's a place where I have the most water. And believe me, that's a place I want a sponge to be the cleanest, right? Here's a little idea for you. You'd like to give them away as gifts, right? That's what you told me. So what I've done here, like you're getting eight. You're getting a package of eight. I'm like, right. well, you're right. going, okay, a package uh, of eight. What I did was they broke them up into two each and put a little ribbon on them. I put the instruction sheet in the middle, just made a copy. The instructions, what's the instructions? The instructions is use a sponge, <laughs> rinse it out, let it dry. It's a new sponge. So these are little ways to put it make them stocking stuffers make them cute remember the scrubber is also rinses absolutely clean if you've ever picked out scrambled eggs no from the scrubber, more no more because they rinse absolutely clean just under the running tap water remember the most important thing about this is that i am not afraid of i'm not afraid of everything but i want to do the best i can with what i've got so this is a way with a sponge that has a thousand five-star reviews. This is a way for you to actually do something wonderful for your family. It's cleaner, it's healthier, and it's economical. In 60 seconds, the pricing and the flex pay. The pricing and the flex pay in 60 seconds. If you want to get the <laughs> eight-pack, a limited edition, it goes away in 60 seconds, seconds from now. You will be the only one in America to have a Debbie Meyer legendary genius sponge <laughs> in a snowman shape. If you're That's starting to dial in now, you'll get one. We have about 1,500 left. Left. We are busy, busy, busy. Ultimately, you're going to buy sponges anyway, so why not buy a sponge that lasts 15 times longer? And it's cleaner. Like and a it, new sponge every yeah, time. You know, you know what? I didn't want more chemicals in my life. I didn't want to have to bleach it. And I was going to say, why would I put a filthy thing like that right. sponge in my microwave where I cook food? Look, it's absolutely dry where that was put down. Bye -bye. That's all you do, and your little snowman will be a nice little kind of compliment to your whimsy home. The fastest presentation wow. ever. Debbie Meyer, thank you so much for doing this. <laughs> snowman all across oh. America in the kitchen feeling good. Give them to people because they will love you for it. The easiest, simplest, most affordable gift. Um, we asked a question, Debbie. Have you ever ended up in the wrong place? You know who won? Tish32 won. Tish, you just won $25 to spend Yay! on anything. You could get a pack of Debbie Meyer jeans. A sponge in snowman shapes. <laughs> Debbie, thank you. Thank you. We'll so see you oh, soon. I love it. This is everybody's perfect solution. Let me show you okay. the new solution for you. If you have experienced what she was just talking about, yeah. and I have, here you go. Nice, perfectly individual oh, pies look at how that cute are ready. Those are. This is the best part. They're ready in seven minutes or less. Are they really? Yes. <gasps> okay. Oh, for cool. That's what's pretty crazy. So when you plug this in, it takes two minutes to warm up. Gotcha. Oh, Only two minutes. Okay, you know it takes 21 minutes for my oven to preheat. I know. Right? That's what's so crazy. I've timed it. So in less time <laughs> really than it would take for your oven to even warm yeah. up. You are already serving a delicious pie, and let's cut into this one. I believe our cherry. Oh, so look there's, at look at that. this cherry pie. It's absolutely perfect. Yummy, Perfectly yummy, browned yummy. all the way. This is my apple pie right here. Okay. And okay, I left my ice cream. I'll come get it. <laughs> okay, that's all right. That's all right. Well, I, she has I, I, I will be your helpful you assistant. You gotta finish with it. Thank you so much. Okay, Ken. you we are have welcome. to finish with the ice cream. I know. And so you can have pies just like this in a matter of minutes. I want you to be thinking about this time of year. We're gonna have people coming over to visit a lot. Lot more sure. frequently now we are also you know there's times when you're busy you're doing holiday stuff you want to serve something delicious you do but you don't have all that time to spend think about plugging this in for just a few moments taking
making your pie crust. Now you can buy already made pie crust. Sure, right to make in your, your life easy. Section. Yeah. Exactly. But we also include with the maker, there's going to be pie crust uh, recipe. So oh, if you nice. wanted to make it from scratch, we're going okay. to tell you how. Gotcha. So now you can go and get the filling right in the grocery store aisle. So they have the pie filling already in the can. So maybe just keep some yeah, of these in the not? cabinet. Or maybe you already have harvested some of your fresh, you know, fruits and maybe sure. you can fruits, you know, during the summertime, the springtime. So you can have these ready. Do you want apple or do you want blueberry? Oh, do you know what? I do like apple. Okay, I let's have do to apple. Say. You gotta do the apple. Yeah, okay, by the way, this is another one where it is the grand finale for our Columbus Day uh, finale. Mm -hmm. Remember, we've got LG, we've got the television, we've got the phone coming up. But regardless, this flex pay does go away at midnight. So you can only get it basically now or for this show for less than $10 on your credit card. You know, and the thing for me too, Carrie, is, you know, for a lot of us out there, we all love pie, but most households, you buy a pie and then you're sitting on leftovers for a week, even if there Absolutely. is more than one person in the family. Absolutely. And let's be honest, somebody's not happy. You know, you buy the you apple, the somebody else wanted the pecan. <laughs> you know, you buy the pecan, somebody else wanted sweet potato. You know, and, and you know, so yeah. now pies for everybody. You can customize not only the flavor profile, but you can do sweet and savory at once. You could do a pot pie on one side. You could do an apple pie on the other and yeah. still know that in minutes you're going to have perfect results. And that's where I'm going right now. So what I was just showing you is it actually comes with a cutter. So you see here, this yeah. actually is coming with. So the larger side is for your bottom piece and then the other side which is a little bit smaller is for your top piece so you right. saw me put the top piece on it's that easy everyone i'm going to take these out these are my pot pies i am going to blow your mind right now okay if you buy a pot pie in the store you know that you have preservatives of artificial course. things sure well, you know what sure. kind of what kind of meat are they using in there yeah. you know probably not the best right. you know so and if you do want oh, to get kind and say hey we use all white meat you pay so much more this is a chicken pot pie Nothing will go to waste in your home yeah. because you can get as creative with this pie maker as you want. Take your leftover green beans, your corn, right. your chicken, put in a little cream of mushroom sure. or cream of chicken you can customize or whatever it. you like. And this one I believe is, is not a chicken. Okay, we got two chickens. Okay, so chick chick. Okay, so we got two chickens, but I'm gonna do a beef one now. Okay. So like to your point, maybe some people in your house like chicken, some people in your house like right. beef. You've got both left over in the refrigerator. Great, no problem. Dinner is ready in minutes. You got home, you worked hard all day, you're exhausted. This is the easiest way to pop something out so fast. Sure. However, yeah. you can also prep in advance. So oh. if you wanna go ahead and make a whole bunch of these and yeah. freeze them in your freezer and then literally oh, take them not? out and put them in the microwave. Good idea. They work just as well like that as, as well. They do, I mean, whether, you know, it's somebody, this fits in the, the fall, smallest of spaces too so i mean yeah. i know it sounds crazy but you know pies in the dormitory you know this pies tailgating yeah. you know pies in assisted living so whether you live alone or you're an empty nester or you're just trying to exercise portion control the kids are going to go bananas over this and the grandkids <laughs> are going to go crazy because no kidding they're going to see this and all of a sudden you don't have to worry about you know a big sometimes dangerous oven right and you know let's be fair certainly we're moving into winter where we don't think about the heat obviously it's not heating up your kitchen but there's a cost factor associated with how long it takes you to you know preheat and then use and then bake your oven it's going to save you so much money on top of everything else absolutely and then those frozen foods are very expensive they are and they're always very small and again the ingredients are not something that you have control over so here you absolutely do now imagine so we took it from dessert which is right. the obvious the pies we took it to savory we took it to dinner but now i want to take you to breakfast yeah how many of you go through the drive-through and or again we're back in the frozen food aisle because yeah. we like to buy those little egg sandwich things well now you can use your pie maker yeah to make a breakfast sandwich oh why not oh, i just totally got crazy there. okay oh, look at cute but we put in there so that's egg sausage peppers you name it whatever your favorite that's things adorable. are and again totally full they plump up when you cook them so beautiful and please notice how nice and roasty toasty they yeah. are so you can leave them in to get as little toasted or sure. more toasted whatever you like but again a, just a few minutes you are in business you this are. can be so valuable in the morning when you're trying to get a family Absolutely. out the door or just maybe you want to make one you don't have to fill exactly. both sides exactly and you know and to Carrie's point I mean it's kind of it's better than set it and forget it because you really don't set anything nope. <laughs> you just wait for it to be preheated and then you put whatever you know filling <laughs> or topping you want to put in it and then it, it, it does all the work so remember that flex pay is for this show
show or for today only. It is the grand finale of our Columbus Day holiday weekend here at HSN. What do you make here? So now I'm making new egg ones. I put sausage oh. in one and bacon in another because okay. maybe everybody likes something a little different. Sure. Now this would be a fun way. Uh, maybe if some people staying over, families coming over, everyone can make their breakfast, put yeah. out all. So we did these little ramkins here. You could put Cute. all different things inside and everyone can pick Why their not? toppings. So it becomes like, you know, we love staying at hotels and resorts sure. because they can we can go to the bar yeah, exactly. and do that, the breakfast bar. Make your own breakfast bar at home. You so put can. in all your favorite toppings and you're just going to beat your eggs okay. and just fill it in with the eggs all around. How easy is that, though? Is this not the easiest thing in the world? It, it, it is, and I, I will tell you, with hundreds of you calling, we have fewer than 3,000 to go around, and this is always a hit here at always. HSN. Uh, call us if you have it, by the way. We'd love to say hi. But the other thing about this is, too, we hear from viewers that they have pie parties yes. uh, where they buy more than one. Okay. And isn't it true, though? Yes, I'm totally going to... Okay, so if Crystal, if you're watching, Crystal works here at HSN oh, yeah, okay. in her salon. Yes, she does. Crystal got so excited when she saw this because maybe like you at home, you'll do this too. She started thinking about all the things she could make with this. And when she saw me do the next thing I'm, okay. I'm going to do, she bought three of them. See, I you, told you. You don't have to buy three of them. But the reason she did is she's a very big family. Yeah. And when her family and all the kids and all the grandkids and everybody comes over to visit, yeah. she likes to pop out pies really fast. So oh, everybody sure. gets involved. They make the pies. She said it was a huge win when everybody came over. They were so excited. Oh, I bet they were. And I'm thinking this is, let me just cut into this and make sure. But yeah. this is what sold her on it. Okay. Uh, Crystal doesn't eat enough greens, she was saying. Oh. So this is a spinacopita. So it's a Greek spinacopita. Yes. And she said, oh my gosh, I am going to make those all the time. So she's been making them oh, pretty steady. Funny. She said her one machine, she goes, I think I made more pies than that machine's ever <laughs> supposed to make at one time. So this might be you. Please know these are little workhorses. They yeah. love just making it over and over. You can keep right. going. And you can keep getting creative. I mean, to you, you, you know, what we were talking about is nothing goes to waste. No. Maybe you want to put mac and cheese in this. Oh, why not? Maybe you want to put, you could go seafood and right. put seafood Buffalo in Buffalo chicken. Well, oh my gosh, that's I know. so smart. Wouldn't that be good? With a blue cheese I in there. I know. Oh. Okay, look, I did little tiny pepperonis. Aren't they cute? <laughs> those are okay, adorable. Okay, so that's the other thing that we spend a lot of money on is those little pizza bite things, okay, that we go and we pay a gazillion dollars. Yeah. We don't know what kind of pepperoni is being used. We don't know what kind of sauce is being used. And generally, they only put very little. You ever yeah, bite into true. those? Yeah. And you're like, where's, where's, the, where's that meat? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, look at that lady in the commercials. Okay, so here you go. So yeah. again, easy peasy. Put as much or a little. It's all to your customization and to what you like. You place the small pieces on top. You don't, I'm not doing anything fancy. No. It crimps it for you. These are non-stick makers. So what that also means is now we're going to go back and we're going to go back to the pies we started. Okay. And we're going to see okay. how many we can get through. But I want to show you that once you take these out, you saw how when I took them out, I could just put new ones right back you in. You could. You could. Easy to clean. So remember, all, the only choice you make here is do you want the red, which is proven to be the most popular. You all like my red. And Ooh. then of course the black. Oh, and but you know, Carrie, look at how beautifully brown those are They're too. beautifully brown. And here's what I want to show you. Do not be afraid. You see how this comes right off? I would wait for yeah. this to cool, by the way. I'm doing this very hot. In real but life. In real life. <laughs> oh, you would wait for that to cool. It's very TV hot. time doesn't allow uh, us to do that. It doesn't allow me to at all. But okay, so but what I want to show you is do not be afraid that these went over. It still comes yeah. right out. You see how that comes right out? And this yeah. will just peel right off as soon as it cools for so a moment. Cool. But um, that is the great part about these makers. So you don't have to feel like, Oh gosh, you know, if I tried to make a pie from scratch on my right. own, look at that apple pie. I just made that Perfection. live with you Perfection. just now. I know, and so here's the thing. So you can see what Carrie has done literally in just the last couple of moments. So yeah. we've got a set of cherry one. pie, so we've got cherry pie, we've got apple pie, we've see, got, is, peach. Oh, is that the peach? Okay, peach yeah. pie, oh my gosh. we've so got fun. chicken pot pie, we're making, we're, right now we are making beef pot pie we as are. we speak. I'm pulling those out right Breakfast now. Breakfast sandwiches, almost like little spanakopita or, or soup, you know, Yep. Souffles or quiches in a way. You can do breakfast food. So here. breakfast, Oops. lunch, dinner, and obviously dessert. So you can do sweet, you can do savory, and let's be fair, that price is you know, a giveaway. I mean, oh $19.95. You use it once, it's going to pay for itself. And you're going to you use will. it so much. That's the thing. Now, look, I want you guys to come over here with me. Now, yeah. let yours cool, please. I'm glad <laughs> right. okay. Again, TV time, okay, remember? Right? I have no time. I want to show you really quick. See, please notice how when I just wipe this, even if a little bit came out, 
clean. I'm ready to go. Yeah. I would just keep wiping. And then it's yeah. done and it's ready to go for the next right. time around. Such a breeze. That's the kind of stuff I want to have in my kitchen. Not stuff that's super hard to do. So here, look at this. Oh, Here's that looks yummy. Oh my gosh. Doesn't so you're going to have <gasps> your high quality meats. You're going to have your high quality vegetables. You're going to know what you're putting into your y You are. Pots. And you know what? You feel better about it. I mean, the kids are going to go bananas. The grandkids are going to go absolutely crazy. <laughs> I mean, you know, whether you're a small household, you know, senior living alone, or you're just practicing portion control, right. as most of us are, you can really afford to have fun and yet get that homemade pie, whether it's sweet, whether it's savory, it looks pretty, it couldn't be easier. Because, you know, normally when we talk pie, you know very well, it's like, okay, well, that's, that's a day-long project, right? Today right. I'm making apple pie. So that's the whole day ahead of you. Not so anymore. So I would probably give this one about another minute because you can see it's almost sure. not completely finished. So just to get that inside completely done, but you see how I'm going really fast. <laughs> yes. So I'm just going to show you the top of this one because I'm going to tell you right now, this one's not done yet. But you can see how it's almost there. That sure. top will finish browning probably yeah. about another minute or two. But how quickly did I just go through all of these? And that's yeah. how quickly you can be making pies for your entire family for all your guests. It's true. And come on, that flex pay once more. I know you, you see we're seeing that reflected graphically. That flex pay does it's done at midnight. The grand finale of our Columbus Day weekend is done at midnight. That's why our two today specials are coming up in sellout quantities. And they're just too doggone cute for Aren't words, Aren't they adorable? Harry. So see, this they one had are. all that little extra around it. It just came right off. So you just let it cool for a second. Adorable. It pops right off. It's a perfect pie. I want to give you one other idea as we go into the holidays. Yeah. Leave the tops off. Oh. And you can make pumpkin pie, and you can make pecan oh, pies. Yes. Little baby pies to put out for your Thanksgiving, oh, how for your sweet. holidays, whether it be Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever. Have a good time with us. Hey there, I'm Michelle Yarn. Every night at this time, we are bringing you the very best products and deals all in one place, HSN. So tonight, we want to make your holiday season a breeze. Take advantage of kitchenware, cookware, and appliances, all designed to make your holiday entertaining easier than ever. Plus, if you are getting a head start on your gift list this year, check out the holiday gift store on hsn.com. You will find gifts for her, him, kids, the pets, and more. Just search gifts on hsn.com right now. I think unequivocally every host here at HSN has either purchased one of these or given one yeah, as a gift. Yeah. I, I think it's kind of, you know, our insider secret for prepping the kitchen. <laughs> right. You know, no more band-aids, no more, you know, finger, because you know, of this. Yes. because of that. It's smart, isn't it? Yeah, it saves a ton of time in the kitchen. Cooking doesn't take time. The preparation takes the it's time so in true. the kitchen. Yeah. And with the Kitchen Master Mandolin, it's called the easy hold because it's got a handle on the end. Yeah. It's got feet on the bottom that'll actually fit over any size bowl so you right. can slice, dice, and chop right in into a salad bowl, okay. do it on the countertop, tabletop, whatever you like, razor sharp German stainless steel blade. Now sure. this does the work for you. All you do is take a potato, tomato, onion, whatever you wish, yeah. you put it at the top of the machine, slide it down to the yep. table, slide it back up to the top, slide it down to the table. All you do is, if you can move your arm up and down, you can use this mandolin. Yeah. Okay? No, you can't. And here's the best part. I want you to see every slice comes out uniform and even. So it's not like a knife where you get one thick slice, yes. then one thin slice, then one thin Finger slice. These are all <laughs> the same, so they're all going to cook up at the same time. And that's important when it comes to cooking, it is. baking, or dehydrating. Now, when you're down to the end, you'll notice I didn't go all the way down to the end, right. okay? Because I like my fingers. <laughs> and if you've ever slipped on one of these old four sided oh, tin can, Lord, you know these things, right? Yes. You get close to your fingers and slip on one of those. <gasps> I mean, Here, it's a serious problem. There's so that's four the stainless guard. steel prongs inside this cup. Yep. That holds on to the food, you hold on to the holder, and that takes it right down to the end. So you'll never waste anything. It takes it right to the very last little piece. So, but you get uniform slices into each and every time. Yeah. Now, here's probably the hardest thing that I found that anybody has a hard. That, Everybody has a hard time slicing tomatoes. True, absolutely because true. Because everybody's got a, a drawer full of dull knives, right? right? I mean, your yes. knives hit countertops, cutting boards, plates, dishes. Yeah. That's why your knives go dull, okay? You end, yeah. up, you end up having to stab a tomato to get it started. You do, actually. Well, true. with this machine, okay. all right, you place it in the safety holder. Yeah. All you do is brush it through. You get perfect uniform slices oh, for salads, nice. for sandwiches, for uh, backyard barbecued yeah. hamburgers. 
but you notice all the slices come out the same. They do. So it's not like, again, it's not like a knife. Now, if you like that slice, here, I'm going to put these out here on the tray okay. in the front and get them out of the way. But it, maybe you want a thinner slice. Well, watch what I do. The Kitchen, kitchen Master has come up with all... There, there's no parts or pieces to this. Right. This is it. Okay. There's a knob on either side. So on this side, yeah. this adjusts the thickness of your slice. There's eight different slicing thicknesses. All you can hear it click. Oh yeah. Like, okay. Oh yeah. So there's eight different slicing thicknesses from thick all the way to thin. And then on this side, you'll notice these teeth pop up. These yeah. are your julianning blades. Okay. You've got super thin, yeah. medium. You've got slice, and then you've got the thick, the thick julienne, right. which gives you those big French fries. Now I'm going to go to slice, but I'm going to go do a thin slice. Okay. Because I I think everybody will love this machine just for slicing oh, onions alone. No kidding. For salads or sandwiches, for sauteed peppers and onions, steak and onion, liver and onion, potatoes and onion. Yes. Hey, for thin sliced onions, for heroes and hamburgers, Perfection. you can't beat this machine. No, you can't. But you know, when it, you, you mentioned earlier you used to do a lot of pickling, right? Yes, I did actually. My grandmother was pickled all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, pickling all exactly. the time. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. well, for heaven's sake. I'll tell you what, for pickling, look at this for yeah. homemade bread and butter pickles. Oh, Oh, can I for tell you that's what I needed for bread, bread and butter oh, pickles or cucumber and onion needed, salad? John. You can nickel down carrots for canning, yeah. slice beets for pickling. I mean, paper thin slices. You can get them even thinner than oh, that. Here, I'm going to take it up one more notch and watch this. Yeah. Look at this. I mean, paper thin. Any thinner than that, right. they'd only have one side. <laughs> yeah. You could make one cucumber last all winter. <laughs> Seriously, but look at that. They're look all at those slices. Perfect. Paper thin and perfect slices. Oh, that's dynamite. Each and every time. Hey, I do want to point out, if, uh, this is the first time I've aired this where all the colors were back, which is really oh, cool nice. for me. So the purple, I've never even gotten to air the purple with you before. Yeah, that's a new color. It, oh, it's a, no, no it's, wonder. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so there's the orange, there's the green, there's the black, there's the blue, and there's my red. Everybody's loving the red tonight. Uh, but the really cool thing about this is, like you said too, John, we know fresh is best, but yeah. it's the prep work that people don't like. This machine does more work does. Look, than you're any expensive one. You're not machine. even looking at the, okay. at the cabbage. Those machines you plug in the wall, you drag them out of the garage, you where they're stored on the top shelf because there's all those parts and pieces. Yeah. You have to plug them into a wall. You can't do this kind of work you on can't. that. You this can't. is why every professional chef in the world has a mandolin in their arsenal of, of tools course, yeah. uh, for the kitchen because it saves you so much time. Perfect. Look at this. The, actually, wow. this is what mandolins were originally made to do over uh, 150 years ago in Germany. Yeah. They were made to do sauerkraut for, right. you know, make, shred cabbage. Sure. Imagine lettuce, iceberg lettuce for oh, tacos yes. or for a salad. Now, if you like it thicker than that, all you do is drop it down to the thick okay. slice for noodles and cabbage yeah. or for iceberg lettuce on taco night. You You'll love that. But watch this because some people, here, I'm going to put this down here. Okay. Some people don't like their cabbage long and stringy. Right. All right? You might want a deli style, I call it. Now, with the head of cabbage, you take a large head and quarter it down through the stem. Okay. okay? A small head, just cut it in half, but leave the stem on. That Don't carve that out because that holds all the leaves together. Right. And watch what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put it, move it up to a medium slice, and then I'm going to bring the medium-sized teeth up. Yeah. And now, instead of shredding your cabbage for coleslaw, now you're going to mince your cabbage deli style. Oh, for heaven's sake. See, those, it's like having 12 little knives it that all is. work at the same time. I know. To mince your cabbage, perfect for deli-style coleslaw. You are, and you know what's interesting? And I mean, Look at that. It's so funny because those onions are so fresh, I can still yes. smell them. Now, if I would have cut those by hand, A, oh, they yeah. wouldn't be perfect, but I'd be smelling like that onion for the next day and a half. I, I can know. promise you well, that. And speaking of onions, dicing onions, hey, you ever sit there with a knife oh, and play tic-tac-toe? I've tried it. Right? And then you take a slice. Or, yeah. or you, you know, onion slices all over the countertop or tabletop. Watch this. Put it in the safety holder, yeah. and all you do is brush it through. Yep. If this is the only thing that you will ever use this machine for, just for mincing onions, yeah, no kidding. I think it's worth this weight in gold just for this it, job alone. It, it is, mean. and I'm telling you, you know, thanks. If you only got this for Thanksgiving, because yes. you know you're making stuffing, you got to have the diced onion, you got to have, you know, celery for stuffing. Celery for and, your stuffing, exactly. You, you know, there's 26 different ways to cut celery with this machine. Are you kidding me? <laughs> with all the different. In, uh, the I don't different even know of 26. But you can do okay. one or two stocks at a time if you want, oh, okay? Man. And it'll save you a ton of time. It will. But if you want to get the job done quick, here's a little tip from my kitchen to yours. Okay. All right. Wrap a rubber band around that bunch of celery yeah. and use the whole bunch. Okay. You can chop more celery in 10 seconds with this machine than you could chop in 10 minutes with a knife. For sure. <laughs> now, no, for sure. like right. I said, 
it, there's 26 different ways. Instead of doing it this way, yeah. the angle that you run the vegetables through yeah. will give you a different cut. So if you run it through this way, yeah. now you're getting celery spears for stir fries. Oh, is that for sure? And you know, stir fries are quick and easy to cook. They're healthy, yeah. they're good for you. You don't even need a wok. You, you can do it right in a frying pan. You can. And now with this machine, they're quick and easy to cut. How about making carrot sticks? Okay. Zucchini spears for a vegetable tray. All you do is brush it through. Yeah. Here, I got some zucchini here. Look at this. I mean, how long? Why buy this stuff all made up for you in the you grocery store you when did. you can make it yourself? It's it so costs funny you say that, Chad. I'm fresh. looking at your table of okay. prep that you did, by the way, in seconds. Can you imagine how long that would take to do with a knife? <laughs> oh, I know. But I, I, I've been guilty, and I still am, of buying almost everything, single thing on this table yep. in the pre already pre done. Uh, it, right, and you know, and you know very well, it's already lost some of its nutrients oh, and yeah. its flavor, and you know, it's, it's just, it's not the same. Exactly. Basically. Well, and that's and it costs a lot more. It does cost a lot more. I mean, when you more. buy when you buy cabbage chopped up for you yeah. like this, okay? Great. It's like a dollar or dollar fifty more a pound yeah. to have somebody else do that for you. Yep. Think of the money it'll oh, save. Oh, I know. Let me give you an example. Just for French fries. I, I bought I bought a carton, and you know the store, the carton with diced onion yes. and diced celery. They were on sale two for five dollars. Yeah. Two for five dollars. Yeah, right? How many I mean, onions can like, you buy for five bucks? Uh, no, I'm serious. <laughs> right? They were on sale. Two for five dollars. Just those two. It saves I mean, you a lot of money. Do you know that's? I mean, if, if I would because then I also bought, you know, you know the dice stuff. You know, they call it the little Trinity mix right? with, the, with the tomatoes and with the green pepper. I spent like ten dollars. I spent a flex pay just on these little pre-diced, pre-cut things. Yes. It's going to pay for itself over and over again. It really I will. You. I always say for onions or French fries. I mean, yeah. just for the French fries alone. Yeah. You can make French fries by the mound. Uh, you'll yeah, make french yeah. fries by the pounds. Yep. I mean, you can make enough french fries to feed your, your whole neighborhood with right. this machine. You I mean, can. For, I've been for pennies. I mean, what do you spend on frozen french fries in the supermarket? Oh, please. And, and, and with additives yeah, and preservatives and all that stuff. I know. But, but you here, know what? Nothing is better than fresh. I mean, no. it's just not. Because there are whole restaurant chains who brag about their little, you know, bar menu with the That's homemade right. french fries. You know, they make a big thing about it. You can have that every night if you want, basically. Yeah. <laughs> you, and you really can. You really but can. But not just with french fries. I mean, hey, how about, yeah. how about not just potatoes. Oh, apple. Why not make apple sticks for the kids. Hey, you make melt down fun. some caramel in the microwave, yeah. make these matchstick apples, the kids eat them like candy, they you do. know? And um, again, anything, here's the difference, okay? Anything that grows in layers, like onions, cabbage, or celery, yeah. when you're using the blades with the teeth up like this, okay, for your julienning, or, or for your mincing, anything that grows in layers will automatically mince, yeah. like onions, cabbage, right. celery. Anything solid, like okay. a zucchini, a potato, a yeah. carrot, or a pear, without even moving Moving the blades, now you're julienning. Oh, so neat. it depends on the vegetable that you're using. Yeah. I mean, you can do so much work with this machine. You can. Way more than any expensive electric machine. Right. And again, I, I mean, take a yeah. bell pepper, snip the tip off, okay, the, the, the part with the stem, reach inside, pull yeah. the heart and seeds out, all right? Yeah. And now, here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to okay. take this back to a slicer, yeah. and I want you to see this. Now, for thick slicing, you do yeah. it this way. If you want them thin, you can go all the way up to the thinnest okay. slice. Okay. Look at this. Paper thin oh, slices. Wow. Okay. Well, I know they're shooing us along. Oh. Please keep calling. I mean, John, I'm always impressed. I mean, the mountain of things you do. I, it I mean, does just about everything for, but oh, the cooking. 